Okay, we are ready to remove the paint stripper from this trunk that we've been working on. Uh, the wax is drying. We've, we've done another video for that, so hopefully you'll get to see this trunk from start to finish all the way through. Um, the, you can tell that the paint stripper is ready to be removed once the stripper um, starts turning colors. You know, it's picking up the colors that it's pulling from your piece. So, you know, some areas are a little bit more colorful than others, and those are probably really, really ready to be removed. Um, you can wait until every spot, you know, that it's that it's on kind of turns a different shade, and you'll you'll know. But you know, worst case scenario, you just put a little bit more on, and then wait a little bit longer. So we're just gonna we're just gonna for pur this purpose, we're just gonna do kind of in the middle. And if you will see this this uh, trunk. <laughs> did not really turn out the way that I expected it would. I thought this would be a really good one to show you guys just how simple it is to strip furniture. And in actuality, it's one of the hardest pieces I've ever stripped because there's so many layers of paint. Um, and you can see, you know, if you just get your, your putty knife or your scraper, you, you know, you're just simply gonna try to go with the grain of the wood and you're just gonna push push your paint stripper off and it just rolls up. You know, you want to put pressure, but you don't want to push because you don't want to make indentions into your furniture. If you're having to do that, it's not really ready to come off. Just like this, you know, there are areas I could probably scrape a little bit more, but you know, it's not ready, so I'm going to have to apply more. I don't really want to cover up some of that white paint. I think it looks pretty impressive as is and just interesting. So the only other thing that you're going to do after you're done removing the paint and again now can this piece be restored yes it can um do i want to do that to this particular piece of furniture no you know if this were an heirloom sure i'd keep going i'd just apply more paint stripper i would keep doing it and and then you know you can sand my personal preference is to continue adding stripper until it's pretty much seamless because you can spend hours sanding, whereas with this, you can paint it on and walk away from it, and I do like that. So once we've worked on our curves, what you need to, to do with them, you know, you're definitely gonna use your contoured stripping pad, um, and once you have gotten most of the paint off, what you need to try to do is use your contour pad. I honestly used my scraper on the side because it's pretty smooth and it took off more paint um, and it's less, you know, work. But you're just going to want to take some warm soapy water. I was impatient so I went ahead and painted part of this trunk and that was totally fine. But I didn't probably need to paint the side that I wasn't finished stripping. So what you're going to do is just scrub it off. You know, you can see it's just pulling it off and it's making it, making it look new again. After we get our, uh, our first initial coat off like this is pulling off some of that old black paint then i'm going to take a fine stripping pad to every one of these sides and i'm going to scrub all the extra the paint stripper off get it off of there so that you have a clean surface to work with meaning i can add more stripper now if you're going to add more paint stripper do it now there's no reason to clean it but if you think you're going to paint it or you're going to seal it as is go on and, and remove that and don't let it dry on there and gunk up. I hope you've been able to see this is a an interesting angle. So we'll do it for the top too so you can see it. And again I'm impatient so I had already painted my furniture, my trunk because that's how I roll. And you're just gonna wipe it. You probably want to do it gently. You don't want water running all over the place but you know as long as you wring it out you'll be good to go. And this is just going to remove a little bit more and just get that residue off because see how much is still on there and you don't even realize you know how much is on there so just scrub it clean and that's why i use a bucket and warm soapy water it just kind of helps me continue to be able to rinse the furniture so i will show you this beast when it's finished <laughs> and we'll take some um, really pretty beauty shots of it and put it on the blog so you can kind of see how it turned out But I hope that this has helped you see that stripping furniture. It's, it's just another process You know, it's just trial and error and it's you know, it, it's okay if it's hard work or if it doesn't work out perfectly It's really a simple straightforward process. So I hope it's helped